It's a special night here at the Peterborough Memorial Center as 650 athletes are here in town to take part in the OFSA Boys High School Lacrosse Championship. It is loud in here. I'm Scott Arnold getting set to bring you Ontario Junior Lacrosse League action between the Peter Romero Precision Lakers and the Toronto Beaches. Their first meeting of this season, but fans will remember their great playoff battle last summer. The Beach knocking out the Lakers in four games in a hard-fought series. Toronto sitting with a record of three and three. And Peterborough, who just picked up their first win last night in Six Nations, a record of one and five as we are underway. Lakers with the first possession. Trying to get their offense going. You can really hear the crowd in here today, which is great as Andrew Kidd, the starting goaltender for Toronto, gets his first touch of the ball, and Toronto will move it up. Starting goaltender for the Peterborough Lakers, Deacon Knott, member of Team Canada. Stellar goaltender, made several saves last week in a tough loss to Orangeville as we get the first shot from Toronto. That's coming out of the stick of Collison. Lakers are going to keep an extra eye on him today. Played in his first game the other night, picking up nine points, four goals and five assists in a 16-4 win over Oakville. And Deacon Knott makes a big save. Hometown crowd right beside. Four local schools participating. So they are loud, but it was an interesting intro. You could hear some boos and cheers as they introduced captains from all the representing offset teams. Things got underway today. And speaking of goaltenders, great to see Matt Vince here as it, the first scoring opportunity for Toronto and a save from Deacon Knott, but Matt Vince was just in the corner to the left of where Deacon Knott is. Of course, Peter Lakers goaltender, most known for his recent championship with the Buffalo Bandits on Saturday night, winning the NLL Cup, and he's coaching Dennis Morris High School here from St. Catharines as Knott makes another save. This away, the captain moves it up floor. Here comes Fidero, Nick Crowley. And the Lakers will work it on offense. No turf in the Memorial Center at the moment. It looks a little different for anyone seeing their first game at the Memorial Center here this summer. New turf expected to arrive Thursday for the senior Lakers home opener as we get the first goal coming out of the stick of Tom Collins. And the Lakers are on the board. A bullet from the outside that goes past Kidd. And you can see a broken play out of the corner. Two beaches come in, which means somebody's open for Peterborough. You can see Thistleweight calling for the pass at the top. It ends up going over to Collins. And he finds the back of the net for the game's first goal. 2-12 into the opening period. McPherson picks things up off the ensuing faceoff, and Toronto will set up now. Peterborough gets it right back. Trumbull moves it over to Crowley. His shot saved by Kidd. Toronto back up the other way. Firth, who's been an absolute beast this season. 30 points in four games. Even split, too. 15 goals, 15 assists. He was a heartbreaker for Lakers fans last year in the playoffs. An outstanding performance in that postseason as a big save by Kidd at the other end is Sam Trumbull trying to find the back of the net. And now Firth will have it. In two regular seasons, games last year against Peterborough, Firth had 14 points. He's got it once again. He's being watched closely, circles around to the top. This will wait all over him. Now he's being double teamed, and there's a shot right at the top of the crease as Deacon not able to keep that one out of the net. Peter
Pedro waiting for their entire offense to get out. The lone goal score right there. Collins has it. He'll move it down to the corner. Here's another opportunity. That one goes just high and wide. Lots of pressure from the Peterborough side in these opening minutes. Nate Sage, fresh off his prep school championship, gets double teamed, stick knocked out, just as the 32nd buzzer expires. Keep an eye on Sage this game as well. He's had the hot hand as of late. And now Firth with it. Comes off a pick. He's got an opening, and that one goes off the iron, but a moving pick called. Giving possession right back to the Peterborough Lakers. Quick line change at the other end as Zach Thompson. Moving it out to the top. Lakers will work it around the perimeter. There's a shot from the outside by Thompson. Kid able to make that save. And now Collison. He'll set things up. Six foot four, 220 pounds. He'll dish it off to the far side. And there's another save by Knott. Collison gets the rebound. He's got room. Fakes the shot, dishes it off into the corner. That hits a body in front. Forced to chase it into the corner is Booth. Back out to Collison. He unloads. Looks like it hit something in front before it got to Knott. Hit a Laker. They're going to call that back in. So fresh 30 on the clock for Toronto. Firth out to the top. Toronto looking for a hole down the middle as Collison cuts through. Firth with it now. Blows by one man, tries to drop it over the shoulder and not. And another reset for Toronto. They'll make one quick line change. McPherson will get onto the floor. He'll set things up at the top. Playing some catch with both his shooters, waiting for a set play. Fearson drives through the middle looking for that pass. It goes out to Collison off the top of his stick. Over and back, gives things back to Peterborough. And he'll set up with it in the corner. To Chico. Out to Thompson, over to the far side. To DJ Clark. Back over to the left side now to DeChico and scores. DeChico from the top gives the Lakers a 2-0 lead. Another outside shot. And you'll see a bit of traffic in front. And then a big pick at the top. And DeChico just swings around, notices that he has an opening, and from way out, he's able to launch that one home. So two nothing Lakers. Just about six minutes into this opening period. Both goaltenders grabbed a water break. Just waiting for them to get back into their nets. Once again, you can hear the crowd. That extra 650 of these OFSA athletes here to take this one in as McPherson has it off the draw, tries to dish it off to the far side. That pass was intended for Ferry, but the Lakers are able to scoop up the Lucy. Now Peterborough going to work on the offense, looking for another one. Isolation play on the far side by Collins. He drives towards the net, ends up right into the crease, almost bulldozed his way right over Kidd. Toronto quick transition back the other way. Hickey, his shot goes just wide of the net. Toronto scoops it up, just avoids the over and back. They're making a quick line change, waiting for the entire offense to come out. Now they'll move and start up with a play. It's Firth. He swings around a pick to the top. He tries to go five hole on Knott. He's able to make the pad save. Loose ball rolling to the near side. Scooped up by Peterborough. White tries to throw it down floor. That's picked off by Toronto. They'll come back the other way. Looking for their first goal to cut this lead in half. It's Firth. This will wait. Keeping an eye on him. Firth manages to get the dish off. Now McPherson on the near side. 
Out to Firth. Winds up right off the iron, just inches away from finding that top corner. Toronto with the reset, it'll be Palmer. McPherson. Over to Firth. Back out to the top, there's a heavy shot from Palmer, no problem for Knott, who looks down floor, hoping to find somebody coming off the bench, makes the short outlet pass instead. And it'll be Sage, moving it off into the corner. And that's gonna hit the mesh behind. Went off a of Beach's player, so a reset for the Lakers. It's Sage, circles out to the top, he's got room, that shot saved by Kidd right off the glove. A long pass up to Collison. Collison steps into a heavy shot, saved by Knott. Firth will grab that just inside the neutral zone. Out to Palmer. Palmer swings over, sets a pick right after he dishes it, and there's a heavy outside shot again. Deacon not able to see that one. Those low shots are tough to save. Now Peterborough looking for their third. Beach is out shooting Peterborough right now, 13 to eight. There's a big shot and a goal as Collins picks up his second of the game. All three goals coming from the outside. Just a big overhand rip. You can see the pick, the swing, and then Collins from long distance once again. Three nothing, Peterborough leading as we near the halfway mark of this first period. Toronto wins the face off. Looking to stop this three goal run. Peterborough with a tight defense though, really forcing this. Firth with it now, Beaches will Finally get to make a line change, get their full offense out there. Here's a good opportunity as Knott didn't have to make a save on that one, just went wide of the net. Lakers back the other way. We'll set up on the near side, working on that two-man game. Now it gets work to the far side. Collins has two goals already. Moves it off to the far side, and that's picked off. Partial breakaway here for Toronto, and a shot looking for that top corner. Just misses the mark. It was Puglio. And now Peterborough with some good ball movement so far in the opening half of this period. Looking for another one. Outside shot, looking for that far bottom corner was DJ Clark. Lakers still with it, eight to go on the shot clock. That hits a body in front, nice block. Toronto once again moving up on transition. They'll slow things down. Wait for the full setup. It'll be Palmer. Into Collison. Collison looking for some cutters, goes far side to Palmer. That shot just misses the mark. All the way back across center. And a fresh 30 on the clock for Toronto. It's Collison. He's trying to set a pick for Perth, create some room. Perth goes far side over to Palmer. His shot saved by Knott. Knott with a long distance pass. Picked up by Toronto. Now it's bouncing, everybody trying to pick it up here. And the beach is able to recover. It's Mackey. He gets hauled, there's the first penalty of the game. As soon as Pedro touches the ball. Kid on the bench for the extra attacker. Collison, heavy shot from the outside. Hickey's able to scoop it up. Tries to feed Collison at the side, but the 30 second buzzer goes. And it'll be a holding call against the Lakers. So we'll see Toronto go to work on the first power play of this game. 
as Nick Crowley will grab a seat. Toronto at their bench right now as we see the infraction right there, drawing up a play. Trying to get on the board here. Over 11 minutes into this opening frame, out shooting Peterborough 15-9, but have been able to, not been able to solve Deacon Knott in between the pipes. This could be the opportunity they need. Lots of floor space out for them right now. Peterborough won't be able to force on defense like they had been on the five on five. Firth now, he's got a hold, not with the save. Osborne brings it across center. He'll hang on to it for a second, drops it behind him, picked up by Trumbull. Trumbull now. Only Laker on that side, goes far side to, for the dish, and a nice outside shot by Thompson is saved by Kidd. Firth with it now. Moves it to Collison. They'll play some catch as Firth goes from the top to the side of the crease. To Miller, back out to Firth. Firth, heavy shot again. Not stretches out to make that save. That's his 17th save as Firth gets the ball. He's on a breakaway. Firth and a huge save by Knott, but the rebound finds the back of the net as Palmer came in to scoop that one up. A great play by Greg Palmer after a huge save from Deacon Knott. And you see Firth right here on the forecheck. A strip, that creates a breakaway, makes a couple moves, and Deacon Knott, a huge save. And then Palmer with a nice heads-up play to come in and finish off that rebound. A power play marker for the Beaches gets them on the board. They're trailing 3-1. Peterborough with the ball off the faceoff as we're back to five on five, even strength. The captain, Jacob Hickey, he'll move it up to Collison. Collison thought he had a man open through the middle. That hits a body in front, ends up in the stick of Firth. Firth tries to dish into the middle and an interference possession call on the near side, so Toronto will get the fresh 30. Looking to cut this lead to one. Collison. Firth tries to set a pick for him. Firth gets the ball, finds an opening somehow, and that shot goes just wide. They're saying last touch by Peterborough, so again, another reset for Toronto. Applying the pressure now against the Lakers. Hickey over the far side. Nice outside shot by Booth. And that gets caught up in Knott. Thistleweight will move it up. Good pace to this one in this first period. Lakers looking to get that goal back. That one goes just wide of the net. Out of Thompson's stick. Play is going to continue at the far end with Firth. Over to Booth. He finds the back of the net. Two in a row for the Beaches. And they are within one. A nice dish from Firth and then the finish by Booth. You see Firth right here. He's going one on one. Makes it look like he's trying to beat the defender to go towards the net. And the entire time, he's got an eye on Booth cutting through. And Peyton Booth with a nice finish off that pass. Ball loose off the faceoff. Interference possession. Gives things to Toronto. Looking to tie this one up after three unanswered goals from the Lakers to start this one. Toronto right back in it. McPherson. Swings out towards the top, far side, over to Palmer. 
to Collison. Collison, he's got it laying down the middle. Shot saved by Knott. Crowley brings it through the neutral zone. Dishes it off to Volens. Volens far side over to Collins, who has two goals in this opening period. Back over to Volens. Swings off a pick. That shot gets blocked in front. Peter Rowe keeps possession, but only five to go on the shot clock. So a desperation shot from the outside, trying to get the reset. That misses the mark. McPherson. Dishes it down to Firth. Firth swings off the pick, off the iron again. That's his third post. As Firth somehow manages to find an opening once again. Just when it looks like he's covered, he's able to swing out and break free. McPherson now looking for a shot through traffic. Knott's able to make the stick save. The Lakers will look to go to work on offense. DJ Clark dishes it off to Volens. He cuts through. It's knocked into the crease. Kid picks up the ball, moves it up to Ferry. Ferry goes for a line change, leaves the ball for Firth. Out to Collison. Firth and Collison on the near side, trying to get something going as Collison finds the back of the net. A nice little pick and roll, Firth to Collison. And after three unanswered goals from Petero, Toronto responds with three unanswered. And you can see Collison right there, just spinning free of his man. And Firth with the dish. Collison's a tough man to stop when he's left alone in the top, but he's able to create his own opening. Kind of setting a pick for himself. Two on one back the other way. Peter Rowe looking to get one back. There's a shot that hits a body in front, ends up in the crowd. So we are back to where we started, all knotted up. Peter Rowe looking to respond, but Kidd able to make that save as Trumbull was looking to restore the Lakers lead. Trumbull gets called to the bench and Nate Sage will come out for him. Sage has it at the top. To Chico, shot from the outside, that goes off the iron. Good enough for a reset. If the Lakers can pick it up here, they can't. Two on one back the other way for Toronto. Good scoop up for them, great transition but unable to make the finish. Peterkin though, with a great play to scoop that ball up just near the Lakers bench, giving them that opportunity. Nate Sage into the corner. DJ Clark now swings around, tries to move it far side. Collins battling for it now. And the Lakers can't keep possession. As Toronto will move up the other way, looking for their first lead of the game. Just tied it up moments ago after trailing three to nothing. Firth. Looking for Collison once again off that pick. Far side, Collison scores. Looks like it was gonna be Firth to Collison and instead Firth moves it to Palmer first who then dishes to Collison. A great passing play for Toronto as Collison picks up his second. And it's four unanswered for the Beaches, giving them their first lead of the game. 4-3, what great ball movement. We've seen that two-man game down low from Firth and Collison. So the Lakers were looking for that ball to go right to Collison out of first stick, but instead goes to Palmer first, who's able to quick stick it right over to Collison who's just at the edge of the crease. As we mentioned on that last goal, he is a tough man to stop when he gets that close to your net.
Peter Rowe able to get possession off that face off. Here's an opportunity. And that goes just wide of the net. It's Ben Trummel showing his speed. Thistleway with it. All alone on the near side. Tries to drop to the side of the crease with a quick stick. Toronto with all the momentum right now. As they move it across into the offensive zone. Everybody getting a touch right now on offense. Firth with it at the top over to Collison. Into Firth. Just misses the mark. Scooped up by Booth though in the corner. Out to the top. There's a big shot coming from Miller. Not with the save. He has faced 28 shots already in this first period. And Toronto trying to make their way out of the zone. They've got to be quick. Able to get across that line, but Peterborough able to get the ball. Little three on three lacrosse right now. There's a shot from the outside. It's everyone else hanging back towards center as Kidd makes that save. Firth to Collison. He steps into a bomb. That one goes just wide. Looking for the hat trick goal. What a season the big man is having, as we mentioned. Just playing in his second game here tonight. Had four goals and five assists in his first appearance with Toronto this season. And he already has two goals in this period. So does this man right here, Tom Collins. Far side dish. Looking for Blay Myers. The 30 second shot clock will expire just as we enter the last minute of play in this first period. Collison. Moves it to Firth, sets a big heavy pick down the middle. Firth gets the shot off. Lakers will try to get one more here before the break and an over and back. Gives the ball right back to Toronto. The referees are gonna have a brief discussion. Might reset things with a face off at center. One ref called over and back, the other one saying that it was knocked over by Toronto. So we'll see how they sort this one out. You can see Ecclestone right there, the veteran referee. Bringing his knowledge into the discussion here. And we will have a face-off back at center. So 32.2 seconds left to go. And we are right back where we started this game at the center face-off circle. Toronto with a 4-3 lead after four unanswered goals. Responding to a 3-0 run from Peterow to start this game. This away with the ball. Back into his own zone before moving it up the floor to Osborne. Now Thompson. Signaling for a line change to get the offense out. Now Deacon Knott will head to the bench for the extra attacker. 10 on the shot clock. Pretty much matches the game clock. Is one last opportunity from Nate Sage and Kidd with a huge save and it ends up trickling in. Kidd gets a piece of it and then it bounces through. Nate Sage will get credit for the goal. And right at the buzzer, the Lakers tie this one up and we're gonna go into the break. All knotted up at four. We're gonna take a quick break ourselves, but stay tuned. We'll be back with more Ontario Junior Lacrosse League action right after this.
Gatorade. With electrolytes to help replenish what's lost in sweat. Carbs to help fuel your working muscles. And fluids to help you hydrate. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Scientifically formulated so you never stop competing. Gatorade. On our family dairy farm, there's a saying. That the sun doesn't start the day, we do. It's our daily reminder to be our best. Make our best. And that our dairy farm doesn't just take care of our family. It's part of something bigger. That's dairy done right. And welcome back inside the Memorial Center, all tied up at four after that buzzer beater by the Peterborough Lakers, being joined right now by Ben McIsaac and Brian Pitt, Mimico Mountaineers, but we're not here to talk about Junior A Lacrosse at the moment. We'll get to that at the tail end. We're here to talk about OFSA, the Ontario Championship, high school boys, AAA and AA is in town, 650 athletes, and what's your experience been like so far? Uh, it's been great, you know, seeing all the teams from all around coming to, coming to compete. Yeah. And what high school are you guys uh, representing here? Uh, we're representing uh, Humberside uh, Collegiate, defending champs. And what's it like? You're here, you're watching teams that you play against, but the main focus is field across. You still getting into this game as a spectator, though? Yeah, definitely. I got a bunch of friends on each of the teams here. So, yeah, definitely watching out for them and uh, getting focused for the game tomorrow. And... What's going on in Peterborough when you guys are here? What do they have you doing uh, in between games? Have you been able to see the city at all? Uh, yeah, we got, uh, we're lucky enough to get a nice coach bus. We're get, driving through the city to get to our hotel. We got a few games break, so we got time to explore. Yeah, definitely. First time for Asa for you guys, or is this uh, an experience that you've had before? Uh, no, we were lucky enough to uh, go last year in Mississauga, and we won it last year, yeah. Very nice. That's a, that's a huge win. Not very often you win OFSA. This is the first time it's been hosted in Peterborough, but last year, uh, what was your experience like there, obviously winning it all? Yeah, I mean, it was in Toronto, so we stayed at our houses, so we were a little bit more kind of locked in from there, but it's been good in Peterborough. The hotel's nice. It's been, yeah, we're just ready to go tomorrow and get these two wins and get a championship, so. And tomorrow, obviously big game. Your Junior A action will resume after this offsa. Uh, what can we expect from uh, Mimico this year? Yeah, uh, we're, 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 uh, we're, we're, go we're starting to go here now. Uh, we got a few losses under our belt, but I think it's time where we go on a real heater and uh, take control of the league, so we're ready to go. And do you guys find it tough? A lot of guys are away at school for a little bit for the first half, and it takes a little bit to gel as a team, so you got guys in and out of the lineup. Do you find that's a hard adjustment, or does it matter who's out there with you? You just go out and play. Yeah, of course, it's always hard. You know, uh, guys come to have different points, so team chemistry can always be off. But um, once everyone gets back in town for, like, the rest of the season, gets really going together and, you know, pick up where, wherever you can. Excellent. Well, thanks, lads, for joining me. we got a great Junior A game out here. Toronto Beaches, Peter Lakers tied 4-4. Ben McIsaac and Brian Pitt joining me during the intermission. They've got a big game tomorrow. High school offsa boys lacrosse, as we mentioned here, 600 and 50 athletes at the Peterborough Memorial Center. I'm Scott Arnold. We'll be right back with second period action.
And welcome back inside the Peterborough Memorial Center. The Toronto Beaches versus the Peterborough Lakers all knotted up at four after that buzzer beater goal from the Lakers. Period started off all Peterborough, three unanswered goals. And then Toronto able to come back with four unanswered of their own before Peterborough got that one at the buzzer. So all knotted up. And Peterborough with the first possession, it's DeChico. The dish trying to go over to Thompson. That one just misses the mark. Kid thinks about playing that out of his crease. Just lets it roll off to the side. And Toronto, who had just the one lead after their fourth unanswered goal, will look to restore that lead. Firth fakes the shot. And he'll dish it into Hickey. He gets checked. Ball bobbles loose. Scooped up by Miller. Great play coming in. Collison, the heavy shot. That just misses the mark as the 30-second buzzer expires and over and back at the same time. So ball back to the Lakers. Collins, far side pass. Collins trying to find an opening at the side, looking for that ball. Shot comes from DJ Clark on the far side, though. No problem for Kidd. And we're going to have an illegal substitution. Too many men call for Toronto. They sent out a man early out of the back gate. Referee Ecclestone right there to make that call. So we've just seen the one power play so far this evening. It went to Toronto. They scored power play goal on that. That's how they opened up their four goal run in that first period. Now the Lakers will go to work on a man advantage of their own looking to do the same. So DJ Clark starting things at center. Moves it over to Sage. They'll play catch for a little bit as the ball gets worked around on the near side. Clark makes his move down to the middle. Ball over to Sage. Down low to Thompson. Thompson finds a man on the crease, and that's going to draw a high sticking as Liam Vollins takes a couple whacks up high. Slashing will be the official call. So now we are going to see a five on three for a good chunk of time, too. Only 22 seconds had gassed off that illegal substitution penalty. So a lot of space to work with for a lot of time for the Lakers. They'll keep one man up high and just play the four on three game at the moment. Sage out to Thompson. Everybody getting a touch right now. There's Sage with a quick stick, Kid with a big save. Sage able to scoop up the Lucy. He'll move it out to DeChico, who quickly moves it back into Clark. Clark thinks about shooting just for a second, leans into it, trying to fake Hickey, the defender. Now Clark sidesteps his way in and scores. DJ Clark with a power play marker. And the Lakers have their lead back. And you can see the ball movement. And DJ Clark, he keeps doing the head fake. Like he's going to shoot. Seeing if anyone bites. Creates himself a little bit of space. And as soon as he gets that room, he unloads that heavy shot of his. 5-4 Peterborough. And they are still on the power play. Still 122 left to work with on the five on four. So Peterborough with possession off the face off. Looking up at the cl clock is Clark. Seeing how much time is left on that man advantage. He'll quarterback things at the top of the floor. Clark just playing some catch with his shooters right now. Waiting for something to happen. There's a heavy shot from the outside. Looking for that top corner with Zach Thompson. Peterkin, short-handed, whips the shot and not gets a piece of that one, knocks it off into the corner. 
Crowley will move it up floor to DeChico. DeChico being watched closely by Peterkin. And now it'll be Clark with the ball once again. 22 seconds left to go on the man advantage as that shot comes from the outside. That'll pretty much do it for the Lakers power play. And Toronto just trying to kill off the final seconds of this penalty. Phoenix Lefebvre will come out of the box. Head to the beach's bench for a man out the gate. Back to five on five. Saved by Knott as McPherson trying to go low. And DeChico. Up floor pass to Thompson. To Collins, back to Thompson. Collins creating some traffic through the middle. Thompson looking for a hole, moves it off to Clark. Back over to Collins, who had two goals in that opening period. Now he's got room down the middle, scores. The hat-trick goal for Tom Collins as he burns through two defenders to find the back of the net. And it's a two-goal lead for the Lakers. You can see Collins isolated towards the top, sees room, and cuts right through the defenders before beating Kidd. Face off one by Peterborough. It's lost quickly though. Toronto back up the other way. Looking to stop this run. Similar to how the first period started. Three unanswered goals from the Lakers. We've got two unanswered to start this second frame. Almost five minutes in. There's a shot from Palmer. Saved by Knott. Picked up by DeChico. DeChico moving quick up the floor. Over to Osborne, Osborne heads to the bench. And it'll be Clark with the ball. Nate Sage. Sage swinging out to the top, over to Clark. Drops it into Thompson. Thompson on the run, looking for that five hole. Kid closes the door. Moves it up to Peterkin. Palmer now, drop pass back to Booth. Collison, he's looking for a hole. Heavy outside shot, that misses the mark. Loose ball bouncing around, scooped up by the Lakers. It's White. White loses possession as Collison comes out of nowhere to get that ball back for Toronto. Collison trying to create some traffic down to the middle as the ball is worked on the near side. Over to Firth. Firth spins by his man. Shot and not able to make the save. Crease ball anyhow as Firth just barely stepped in. Back on offense. As Clark with the ball. Over to Thompson. Collins. Who has the hat trick here tonight? Dishes it off to the far side. Over to Blay Myers. Back over to Thompson. Heavy shot. Kid makes the save. And a big hit by Collins. Ball pops three. Beach is able to scoop it up. Looking for their first goal of the period. Firth. Fakes the shot, creates an opening for himself and scores. What a play by Willem Firth. His first goal of the game to go along with a couple helpers. You can see him right here just fakes like he's going to unload that cannon. Creates some space for himself into the middle where he's got an entire lane to shoot down. And the Beaches are on the board this period, trailing the Lakers by one now, six to five. Ball bouncing free off the face-off. Everyone battling for it. 
Scooped up by Hickey. Now Petero with the ball right back. It's Trumbull being watched by Ferry. Trumbull heads to the bench. He's able to flip the ball out first. As Petero just misses that opportunity. Right back the other way. Pass intended for Hickey. And now looks like we're going to have an illegal substitution penalty. This time on the other side going to the Lakers. So we saw one earlier in the frame going against Toronto. And now Petero gets called. So we saw Toronto score on their first power play of the game. That's what got things rolling for them. They were down 3-0 at that point. Power play goal started their four-goal run. And as soon as Kidd gets this water break, Toronto will look for their second power play goal. Trying to tie this one up. Went into the second period, tied at four. Firth, who had the last goal for the Beaches, will start things up at the top. Firth, tough angle, but he'll shoot from anywhere. Decides to dish it off. Ball rolling now, picked up by Peterborough. Firth and Palmer on the four check. Trying to get that ball right back. Crowley. Over to Clark. Clark takes a couple whacks. Forced out towards the bench. Over to Thompson. Back over to Clark. They'll try to kill off some time here as Thompson fakes the shot. Far side. Tough angle. Saved by Kidd. That'll hit the mesh, go out of bounds, giving the ball right back to the Beaches. Just over a minute left in the man advantage for Toronto. Collison. With it at the top, moves it over to Booth. Pass through traffic, picked off by Thistlewaite. This will hustling down. Collison gets the ball knocked free. Good defensive play. And he'll bring the ball up for Toronto. Collison through center. He's been out there for a while right now, so he'll slow things down, try to get some win back. Little hidden ball trick. Pierrot doesn't bite. As Firth, he steps into another one. That one just wide. 17 seconds left to go in the man advantage, but only five on the shot clock, so Kidd, recognizing that, will launch at the length of the floor, forcing Peterborough to start possession in their own zone. Trumbull. Two guys on him. He's forced to go to safety in the corner. Out to Clark, as we're back to five on five. Lakers able to kill off that penalty. To Chico. Sees a hole down the middle. He's got room. Shot and a big save by Kidd. And another penalty. High sticking. So a parade to the penalty box here. Back and forth as Toronto takes their turn in the box. See Ecclestone, the referee, making the signal. High stick. Two minutes goes up on the board. See Lakers. Looking to get their two-goal lead back that they haven't seen since the start of this period when they went on that two-goal run. Working it around towards the top and a quick stick at the side just misses the mark as Clark was trying to tuck it in. And now it's Thompson and a big save by Kidd. He bobbles it and recovers right at the line getting his glove on it. Good opportunity for Peterborough, but Kidd with a great save. No pressure from the Lakers, so Toronto just happy to kill off a good chunk of this penalty. Eight to go on the shot clock. 
as Firth cuts through the middle and again goes off the iron. He's able to beat not, but not the post. He steps into the crease anyhow, giving possession back to Peterborough. It'll lead to Chico. Flips it to Clark. We saw Clark score on the last Lakers power play. Collins out to Clark. Clark does that head fake we've seen him do. When he's on that power play, making the defenders think he might shoot. Now he shoots at a rocket looking for that top corner. Gets the reset. 35 seconds left to go on the man advantage. As Collins with three goals for the Lakers tonight. Has the ball right now. Looking for a cutter through the middle. That misses the mark. Rolls behind the net. And unless Peterborough can get the ball back right here, that'll do it for the power play. They do get it back. 10 seconds left to go. So one last opportunity on the man advantage. They'll have to be quick. Ferry getting ready to come out of the box. Now we're back to five on five. Beach's player's just gonna hang out near center, knowing that the shot clock's about to expire soon, so it's still a five on four in the offensive zone, but Lakers get the reset. So Firth is forced to come back on defense. Thompson with the move and scores. Zach Thompson with the fake and Barry. Not technically a power play goal, but there was only four beaches back there at the tail end of that penalty. And the Lakers take advantage. Zach Thompson finds himself alone at the side of the crease. 7-5 Peterborough, exactly eight minutes left to go in this middle frame. Trumbull with the ball off the ensuing faceoff over to Thistleweight, down to DeChico. DeChico comes off a Thistleweight pick. Over to Clark. To Thompson. Thompson shot on the run. Three left to go on the shot clock, so the Beaches will just let that roll out and time expire on the 30. They'll get to start with it in the Peterborough zone. As Collison will begin things at the top. He'll dish it off, cut through the middle. Booth with the ball now on the near side. To Palmer, over to Firth. Firth has Collison at the top. Collison spins off his man. Little twister shot, just misses the mark. That'll hit the mesh above the glass, going out of bounds. Clark out of the corner. Finds some help in Collins on the near side. Collins tries to drop it in the middle, misses the target, but ends up in the stick of Clark. Out to the top and a big save. Once again by Kidd. High sticking call coming against the Lakers. Kidd will head to the bench for the extra attacker. So it'll be six on five until the Lakers are able to gain possession. Firth over to Collison. It's the Beaches. Waiting for some openings here against the Lakers defense. Booth bobbles that pass, ends up in the Toronto bench. It'll be a holding call against Peterborough. Goalies will take this opportunity for a water break. Peterborough looking for their second win in a row. They had a big win in Six Nations last night, so quick turnaround from them. Whereas Toronto, they played over the weekend on Saturday, 16-4 win over Oakville. Looking to move above 500, sitting with a record of three and three right now. Lakers sitting at one and five. 
looking to keep rolling after that big win against the Arrows. Referee noticing a wet spot out on the floor. So we'll get the towel and wipe that up. Keep things safe out on that floor. We talked about the turf arriving, supposed to arrive June 8th, this Thursday, in time for the Senior A Lakers game. Normally there's turf down for lacrosse here, but Peterborough ordering a new turf this year. Similar to what they used in the NLL, so waiting for that to arrive and get installed. As Palmer. Out to Firth to Collison, into Hickey. To Miller. Miller's working around the perimeter. Now Collison cuts through. He's got a hole, and Deacon makes the save, though. Good play by Collison to break free, but a better save from Deacon Knott. Firth controlling things at the top for the Beaches. Quarterback in this offense as Palmer. He rips one. That hits a body in front. Goes way up top. Scooped up by DeChico. And an interference possession call. Peter will try to break it out of their zone. It's Osborne. He gets stripped. Great defensive play by Firth. And Toronto will slow things down. Wait for the power play unit to get out. It's Collison. Flips it out to Hickey at the top. Firth will take a position at the side of the crease now after being set up at the top for the first half of this power play. And quick stick into Hickey. Hickey gets the reset. 45 seconds to work with on the man advantage. As Hickey with the ball into the corner. Firth will make his way back out to the top. Hickey will be at the crease now. Firth steps into one, unloads, and a big lag kick out from Deacon not to make the save. Collison picks off that pass. He steps into one and not again with a big save. Two back-to-back -back stops. 20 seconds left to kill now on the Lakers penalty. As Thistleway through the neutral zone. Into Clark. Clark just trying to kill off the final few seconds. He's in no rush right now as they kill off the final second of that penalty. Back to five on five. It's Thompson. His shot goes just wide of the net. Toronto back the other way. Just one goal this period for Toronto. As Palmer. Trying to cut through the middle, looking for that pass. Goes over far side to Booth. He's got a hole. Stick save, though, by Deacon Knott. Toronto gets the reset and a big hit by Sam Trumbull. Interference possession call. So fresh 30 on the clock for Toronto. As Firth steps into one. Got a lot on that one, but just missed the mark. He'll be picked up by Crowley. He's got speed. Beats his defender, but can't beat Kidd. Great speed there by Crowley. Just over three minutes left to go in this middle period. Picked off by the Lakers. It's Trumbull. He gets checked hard and a penalty. This penalty filled second period continues. The Beaches will head to the box if they get possession. Be obviously wiped out if the Lakers score here. Goaltender on the bench. It's Collins. Clark now. He's trying to go near side. Saved by Kidd. Fresh 30 on the clock as Sage. Hangs on to things at the top. Over to Clark. Clark taking his time, swings off a pick. Takes the shot and that'll bring out the whistle as Kidd scoops that one up and a little bit of pushing and shoving after the whistle. Should just be the lone penalty though, the original one. 
Shouldn't see too much else. As the Toronto Beaches penalty gate opens with 219. Left to go in the second period. You see Ecclestone signaling the trip. Don't see too many tripping penalties in lacrosse. But there is one here with 219 left to go. Clark starting things up as he'll walk his way through the neutral zone into the offense. Peter Rowe taking their time. Lots of floor space out there. And there's some movement as Collins cuts through to the middle and Thompson takes the shot. Collins comes in, scoops up the Lucy. Reset on the 30 as Clark over to Thompson. Back out to Clark at the top. He steps into one and Kidd able to make that save as Clark unloads a bomb. Clark will stay up, try to force the play as the ball gets moved up to Hickey. And now Collison take things over to the far side. Peter Rose just going to let Collison stay with it. They don't mind if a few seconds tick off the clock here. Five to go on the shot clock as Collison steps into that one. Not makes the save, scoops up the rebound. Dishes it down floor. Thompson with the flip pass. And now Thompson has it on the near side. Looking for some cutters through the middle as he moves it down to Collins. Thompson swings out to the top. There's a heavy shot from the outside by Blair Myers just as the 30 second buzzer expires. 17 left to kill on the penalty as Hickey turns to the bench, gets some instruction. Lots of talent on that bench. Led by coach Riley O'Connor, former two-time Minto Cup champion. And they'll call a timeout right now with 10 to go on the shot clock and 22.4 seconds left to go on the game clock. Riley O'Connor will draw up a play. When he was with the Whippy Warriors, 300 plus point seasons. His third one coming in 2014. The last man before him to do that was John Grant Jr. 20 years prior. So for 20 years, nobody was able to get three 100 plus point seasons. That's a tough feat in junior lacrosse. And then after graduating from the Whippy Warriors program, he moved on and he became a Georgetown Hoya. Had some success in the NCAA level. That man right there, Robert Hope in the middle, he's had some success. His Colorado Mammoth played in the NLL Cup on the weekend, coming up just short. They were looking for their second cup win in a row. They were edged out by Buffalo. And Jake Withers, face-off specialist for the Halifax Thunderbirds. You can see him on the left side of things. Signaling to his defense what they need to do. Withers will be back with the senior A Lakers this year. Just had a kid in March, so he wants to stay closer to home. It's the senior Lakers looking for their fifth Man Cup championship in a row, which would be a record. So we're back to five on five, even strength. Collison looking for one right at the buzzer and not makes the save. As the 30 second shot clock was just about to expire. And now Peterborough able to call a timeout with 11 seconds left to go. You'd have to think that man will be on the bench for the extra attacker. Deacon not. And again, you see Jake Withers animated on that bench, letting his team know. And you've got Robert Hope, Turner Evans, and Taylor Evans. They're going to talk to the offense. Turner Evans 
right in the middle. We'll see what play they draw up here with 11 seconds left. We saw a buzzer beater from Peterborough at the end of the first period to tie it up at four. See if they have it in them one more time. We'll have to start with it in their own zone. So Deacon not on the bench for the extra man. Collins waiting for the ball. Now he'll quickly move it up the floor. Lakers have to be quick here. Clark trying to get around Ferry. Takes a shot from long distance right at the buzzer. And Kidd able to make the save. And after 40 minutes of play here at the Peterborough Memorial Center, the Peterborough Lakers leading the Toronto Beaches 7-5. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more Ontario Junior Lacrosse League action right after this. Gatorade, with electrolytes to help replenish what's lost in sweat. Carbs to help fuel your working muscles. And fluids to help you hydrate. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Scientifically formulated so you never stop competing. Gatorade. On our family dairy farm, there's a saying that the sun doesn't start the day, we do. It's our daily reminder to be our best, make our best. And that our dairy farm doesn't just take care of our family, it's part of something bigger. That's dairy done right.
Gatorade. With electrolytes to help replenish what's lost in sweat. Carbs to help fuel your working muscles. And fluids to help you hydrate. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Scientifically formulated so you never stop competing. Gatorade. On our family dairy farm, there's a saying. That the sun doesn't start the day, we do. It's our daily reminder to be our best. Make our best. And that our dairy farm doesn't just take care of our family. It's part of something bigger. That's Dairy Done Right.
And welcome back inside the Peterborough Memorial Center. The Lakers hanging on to a 7-5 lead over the Toronto Beaches. I'm Scott Arnold bringing you Ontario Junior Lacrosse League action on this special night at the Memorial Center as this will wait. Gets knocked right into the Beaches bench. All love there from Toronto as they help him back up. Those things happen sometimes. I don't know if the latch wasn't fully closed or what happened, but wild way to start this third period. First period, the teams went back and forth. Lakers had three unanswered goals, followed by four unanswered from Toronto before a buzzer beater tied things up. And then in the last period, just the one goal from Toronto, three from the Lakers, as it looks like we'll be resetting things. At center, referee Ecclestone called for a face-off. Toronto wants possession, though. We'll see if they get that. A tight one here is Toronto looking to move above 500, sitting with a record of 3-3 three three right now. Peterborough with a record of 1-5. and five. And they are going to give the ball to Peterborough, it looks like. Clark has the ball at center, Ecclestone. The referee trying to explain things to the Toronto bench. And Toronto's gonna get a penalty. Off of that, so Lakers will go to work on the power play. So after a discussion with the Toronto bench, now referees having a brief discussion amongst each other. And we'll have a five on four man advantage for Peterborough. Clark starting with it at the top. Moves it over to Collins. Clark into the corner. As you can hear Kidd calling the plays from up here from his net. Vocal between that crease, or in that crease between the pipes as that shot from Collins hits a body in front. And Clark will work it over to Collins who has three goals here tonight. There's a bench minor for Toronto. Was the official call on that penalty as we saw Thistleweight go through that gate. And a moving pick called on the far side, giving the ball back to Toronto. It'll be set up on the far side as they try to kill off a good chunk of this penalty. Down by two though, so you might see them try to go towards that goal. As Firth trying to slide off a Collison pick. Collison with the ball now and takes a shot on the run. Almost fools not. As he tried to stuff it in that top corner. Collison gets it right back. Fresh 30 on the clock. And that's an over and back call. Nobody home. He thought Firth was waiting out there, but Firth had gone to the bench for a line change, so nobody home on that pass after that great effort by Collison to get that ball. And Peterborough working around on the offense. Clark far side over to Collins, looking for a cutter down the middle. He finds Lehmeyers back over to Clark. Thompson fakes the shot, tries to drop it in over the shoulder, but Kidd makes the save. Ball still loose. Peterborough trying to pick it up. It's Collins using that long reach to get it. He's got Hickey all over him. He's forced to drop it back out of harm's way where it's picked up by Thompson and we're back to five on five. So good kill by Toronto as a shot from the outside by Clark. Almost fools Kidd, he doesn't know where it is. Now he gets an eye on it and an interference possession call. As there was a big collision to the right of Kidd. Clark will start the ball out of the corner. Making his way towards the top. He dishes it to Blay Myers. Over to the far side to Thompson. Thompson has room down the middle with Hickey with a nice stick check. Clark with the ball now scores. 
DJ Clark able to scoop up the loose ball and find the back of the net. His second of the game, and it's a three-goal lead for the Lakers. Watch Clark on the left side of your screen. Keeps his eye on the ball. It takes a wild hop, but he had his stick right there to scoop it up. And a nice little bouncer to beat Kidd. Toronto wins the faceoff. Peterborough gets it right back, though. It's going to be Trumbull. Moving it up floor, shoots and scores. Ben Trumbull. Showing his speed. And it's back-to-back -back goals for the Lakers. Great defensive effort by Nick Crowley. He gets the strip. Moves it up right away to Trumbull. He's able to bury it past Kidd. Toronto beaches all over him. He's surrounded by blue jerseys as he hits in to the crease. Water break for both the goalies. There you see Deacon Knott. Shots are tied 39 apiece. It was all beaches in that first period. They had 27 shots in that opening frame. Just the 12 since then. As Deacon Knott was sharp in between the pipes. Has been sharp all game, but that first period he had to come up big despite four going past him. In that opening period, he was peppered. There's a shot coming out of the stick of Crowley. Kid was ready for that one. Toronto makes their way up through the neutral zone. Julio forced into the corner. He's being double teamed now, still with it. Somebody's open though, and he's gonna draw a penalty with that effort. Great effort by Julio to draw that penalty. Goaltender on the bench for the extra attacker. Firth with the ball. Underhand shot, looking for the five hole. Deacon not able to make that save. So it's a trip to the penalty box for Reese DeChico. Holding will be the call. Julio being double teamed. And a great effort to draw that penalty. It's a four goal span that Toronto has to come back from right now. Lots of floor space out there for them right now. As they'll look for an opening down the middle. Shot by Palmer from the outside. Peterborough down a man. Three unanswered goals by the Lakers. Being double teamed right now is Trumbull. Forced right towards the bench. That's where we saw Thistleweight go right into the gate to start this period off. Hickey with the ball. 110 left to go on the man advantage. Lots of time for Toronto to work with as Firth sets things up at the top. He'll quarterback things once again on the power play. Collison trying to set a pick for him. Palmer over to Collison. He steps into one heavy shot. Just misses the mark. Collison gets it right back, moves it over to Palmer. His shot saved by Knott. Firth now with a rebound. Tries to backhand it out of traffic. And now Miller will come in. Wasn't able to scoop it up. Peterborough comes out of the pile with it. It's Wyatt Wiggins. That'll be an interference possession call as Knott stepped out of his net. Got tied up with his man. 30 seconds left to go. In the man advantage for Toronto. Trying to claw their way back into this one. We saw them score four unanswered goals in the first period. Looking to do it now down the stretch, but Deacon Knott makes a huge save. Kicking that leg out once again. Ten seconds left to kill here for the Lakers. Lots of pressure from Toronto. But Clark able to blow through the defenders, split them. 
Dishes the ball to Collins as we're back to five on five even strength. Good kill from Peterborough. Collins trying to dish it into the middle. Intended target was Thompson, but that one's picked off. Collison. You can hear the fans here, they're loud. 650 athletes in town for the Offs Ontario Boys Lacrosse Championship, AAA and AA. So a lot of them in attendance tonight for this one, and they've made it a vocal and fun crowd. As Peterborough on transition, they're forced to pull out of harm's way. There's Caleb Connell. Peterborough still with the ball as the offensive unit. It's just getting out there now. They'll set up. Liam Vollens into Thompson. He's got two guys on him. They're trying to haul him down. Ball gets knocked free, picked up by Vollens. Rips a shot, just looking for a reset at that point as the final second ticks down from the 30. Toronto back up on offense. 13.26 left to go now. In regulation time, a four goal deficit here for Toronto. Lakers played last night in Six Nations, picking up a big win, 11-6. Wondering if they were going to be out of gas here tonight, but so far it looks like they have their legs and their energy. Back-to-back -back games does not seem to be hurting them. Collins, three goals for him tonight. Moves it over to Clark, who has a pair. One-on-one -on -one with his man, spins through, looking for the bottom corner. Kid makes the big save, Hickey back the other way. Three on two. Hickey, out to Miller. His shot saved by Knott. Knott quickly looks down floor, moves the ball up fast. DJ Clark slows things down though. He sees four blue jerseys coming out of the back gate. Smart play by him to pull out. Now Nate Sage being isolated on the far side, one-on-one -on -one with his man. Great job on defense by Hewitt. As he forces Sage behind the net. Toronto back up the, the other way after that great defensive effort. Looking to get one back. They have not scored this period. It has been a while. They had four goals in the first, one goal in the second. Looking for their first in this final frame of regulation. Last goal for Toronto is at the 13.09 mark of the second period. Since then, Deacon Knott has completely closed the door, and this Lakers defense has been pretty good as well. But Deacon Knott, who just made another save, he's been the difference maker. Coming up big. Quick transition back the other way. It's Thompson shot, and Kidd with a huge save. That'll hit the mesh out of bounds. Great transition by the Lakers. But Kidd, speaking of good goaltenders, he makes a huge stop. Toronto out shooting Peterborough 48 to 40. As Thompson directing the offense, moves it over to Clark. Clark swings out, his shot goes just high. Thompson trying to keep it in, he does. Ball still rolling around, picked up by Collins. Collins brings it out into the corner. Feeds it to Clark at the top. Play Myers over to the far side, back over to Clark. Into the middle as Sage fights his way towards the net, he gets knocked into the crease. As he muscled his way through two defenders, but just stepped over that crease line. Nearing the halfway mark of this third period. Toronto just trying to get on that board. Sometimes once you get that first one, a bunch of goals will follow. But they have not been able to solve Deacon Knott.
to Chico, out to Sage. He sees a hole down the middle, drives towards that net, bounce shot goes just wide. All the way back towards the Lakers bench and it goes out of bounds. And Toronto will get one more opportunity. One shift at a time here for the Beaches, but they are running out of time. This comeback train needs to get going as Collison does just that, finding the back of the net with another goal. He's had the hot stick here tonight, the hat trick goal for Matt Collison. You can see the big man with a ton of space. Drives right towards two defenders, shot through traffic. We'll see if the Beaches can use that momentum. Referee signaling to both goaltenders that they can go grab a water break. Deacon Knott, a member of Team Canada. Also plays in the Arena Lacrosse League. So he is busy year round with lacrosse. A fan favorite here in Peterborough. The fans love him. You can see why he keeps his team in it. Making some huge saves. Nearing the 50 shot mark. Beach is sitting at 49 right now. That last one though, able to get by him. Collison with his third, 9-6, Peterborough leading. Big face-off win by Toronto to keep possession after that goal. McPherson, he'll dish it down. Out to Firth at the top. Into the stick of Collison, down to the captain, Hickey. Working it on the near side as Firth cuts through. Firth with it at the side of the crease, cuts towards the top, tries to find that top corner. Again, unable to find the back of the net. He's had several opportunities. Collins down to Thompson, who swings out to the top. On the run, looking for the five hole. Big save by Kidd and an interference possession call as Thompson gets taken down. Beach is trying to argue that it was just two guys colliding, unintentional, but tough to change the referee's mind when he's already made the call. Peterborough looking to restore that four goal lead after that last Beach's goal. It's DJ Clark. Over to Thompson, his shot saved by Kidd. Ball rolls off into the corner. Fresh 30 on the clock as Clark will swing things to the near side. Lakers making one quick line change as Nate Sage comes off the gate. He's got the ball now. Over to Thompson. Shot on the run. That one just misses the mark. Picked up by Peterkin. Two on one with Ferry. A flip pass just off the mark. Inches behind Ferry. Ball still rolling around. That'll be a possession call given to Peterborough. This will wait. Long outlet pass up to Volens. Collins now steps into one. Heavy shot. Kid got a piece of that. Referees are saying no. Now they'd have reset it to the Lakers bench was very vocal. That one clearly hit Kidd, but it took a couple seconds on the reset, which bought a little bit of time for Peterborough on the 30 as Nate Sage rips one off the iron. That'll go all the way back to Deacon Nod, who comes out of his crease to play it. Long bomb, nobody home, scooped up by Toronto. Collison, he picks up some speed. Flip pass to Hickey at the side of the crease. Pass intended for Miller, but he wasn't looking at all. The ball ends up rolling down the length of the floor into the corner where it's scooped up by Thistleweight to Thompson. 
Lakers will take their time now on offense, trying to kill off this 30. You don't want to take your foot off the gas, but there's no urgency as well. So you have that three goal cushion. You want to take your time, pick your spots as Trumbull spins through his man. That shot goes wide. Scooped up off the hop by Wernarski. He'll move it into Firth. Six and a half minutes left to go. So Toronto needs a goal every two minutes down the stretch here, and they can't get scored on if they want to force overtime. Collison, he spins free of his man. Overhand shot, trying to find the five-hole stick save by Knott. And it'll be Sam Trumbull moving it all the way up to Thompson off the bench. Thompson being checked hard, double teamed, moves it out to Sage. Shot from the near side coming out of the stick of Wallens. Kid with another big stop. He's made some big ones when he's had to. As Collison, three on two opportunity. Nice far side dish and not with a huge save. Nice feed by Collison to the side of the crease. But Deacon Knott comes up big, making the save on Booth. Back at the other end, Lakers will work it around on the offense. It's DeChico. DeChico being forced back towards center. Lakers bench yelling shot, and he gets a one-handed shot off. Trying for that reset. And Toronto. With a timeout here, as they'll look to draw something up on the offense. Down by three right now, 5.07 left to go. Big hole to climb. And that wasn't a Toronto timeout, that was actually an official's timeout. So you can hear Ecclestone, the referee right now, telling everyone to get back onto the floor. Both coaches confused right now. You can hear words from both sides. This is Ecclestone, the referee. It's a nice smile on his face. He's always happy out there. Veteran referee at all levels of lacrosse. He's worked his way through the system. Refs a lot of the games here in Peterborough as well. As the goaltender, Kidd, will head to the bench for the extra attacker. Toronto knows they need to get the offense going now. Empty net back the other way as Kidd trying to get back into his net. Doesn't matter anyway. The ball bounces out of bounds. Toronto will start up with possession. And we'll see if this continues if Kidd gets called to the bench once again. He's heading towards the bench, but not fully going, so it looks like he'll stay. As Peterborough tight on defense, not letting any blue jerseys get through the lane. Possession call given to Toronto. It's a fresh 30 on the clock. Miller with the ball at the top. Over to Firth. Firth now drives towards the lane. Big fake and just misses the mark. Great play by Firth to get towards the hole. And then an interference possession call gives the ball back to Toronto again. So they're getting all the breaks. They just need to start capitalizing as Collison moves out to McPherson. Back to over to Palmer. Palmer, a little no-look pass to McPherson at the side of the crease. And Deacon Knott will scoop it up. Flip pass up to Trumbull. To Thompson, off the bench. He gets taken down, still manages to move the ball off. Picked up by Clark. Clark now, he's got speed. Forced off into the corner. 12 to go on the shot clock as Volens. He steps into one. It'll be an over and back possession call. So again, Toronto will set things up. Just 3.32 left to go now. 
Toronto trailing by three. Stone will blow things in. Toronto will start it in the corner. Lots of movement on the floor right now as the Beach is trying to break through this Peterborough defense. Collison cuts towards the net. Fakes and scores. Matt Collison with his fourth goal of the game. Great individual effort. You can see him get the ball on the near side. Sees enough floor space that he knows he can get by. Two white jerseys on him, but unable to stop him as he cuts through. So a two goal game, lots of time left, 321. As Collison continues to have himself a game. And right off the ensuing face off, Toronto with the quick goal. And just like that, a one goal game. Here's the face off right after that Collison goal. It gets knocked out of the circle and then just some great foot speed by Jeremy Phoenix Lefebvre on the finish. You can see the Lakers banging their sticks on the bench, trying to rally the troops after those two quick goals from Toronto. <laughs> Referees once again having a discussion. And they'll reset things with a face-off. So Toronto starting to roll. Looking for that equalizer. A couple seconds ticked off the clock, so referee noticed that. They're gonna go over and reset that. We'll see how much time they put back on there. Looks like they just added a second back on. So not much. A big possession for Peterborough. Trumbull trying to chase that ball down. Unable to grab that. So three unanswered goals for Toronto, including two in six seconds. A quick turnaround. Thompson bulldozes his way through. Can't beat Kidd. We'll keep an eye on Kidd right now, see if he stays between the pipes or if he'll come to the bench for the extra attacker. No movement from him, so Toronto happy to play the five on five right now. See if they can get a goal without Kidd on the bench. Lots of time for them to do that. As Collison, big overhand shot, looking for his fifth goal. He's been a powerhouse. Toronto will get the fresh 30 on the clock. Palmer now, he steps into one, not gets a piece of it, but it bounces behind him. And just like that, we are all tied up. 9-9, four unanswered goals. from the beaches and you see Palmer the heavy shot not knows it's behind him he can sense it he tries to go back on it but it had already trickled in at that point as Greg Palmer picks up his second goal of the game so three goals in a minute 26 for Toronto down the stretch coming up big when they need to Kids made some big saves for them as well, allowing his offense to get things done at the other end. Clark, shot on the run. Kid with another big save. This one will come down to the wire. 
Collison with the ball, moves it down to Firth. Over to Palmer. Firth with it. Trying to feed Collison at the edge of the crease. DeChico all over him. Collison with a one-hand flip out to Firth. Look at the five-hole Deacon Knott comes up big. That's a stop the Lakers needed. See if they can reward their goaltender at the other end here. So we near the end of regulation time. It's Clark. Out to Collins, shoots and scores. Tom Collins with a huge goal, his fourth of the game with 38.4 seconds left to go to give the Lakers the one goal lead. You can see Collins coming off the Thompson pick. And he uses the defender as a screen to unload that cannon. Loves to shoot from that spot. And he's had the hot stick for the Lakers in this game. So that stops the run from Toronto and restores the lead. And now we'll have a timeout from the beaches. Riley O'Connor will drop one final play. Shot clock at 29. And then you'll see how everything developed. Nice pick from Thompson. And then just a beastly shot from Collins. Just stares down the beach's players after that. And there's a look at the Peterborough bench. Eric Schul just standing calmly behind Jake Withers. And Robert Hope, very excited right now. He knows his team is pretty close. You can see it on his face. Talked about that tough loss. Coach Hope is coming off of. Captain of the Colorado Mammoth, who just lost the NLL Cup to the Buffalo Bandits on the weekend. He's also captain of the Peterborough Senior A Lakers. And still finds time to coach these Junior A Lakers. That's the best thing about lacrosse is Everybody finds time to give back to the game they love. Goaltender on the bench for the extra attacker. Collison with the ball. Lakers left a key up on him. He's got four goals tonight. Just an absolute beast. Eight goals in two games on the season for Collison. But he might not be done yet. Beach is with that set play that they just planned on the bench as Firth goes side of the crease and Deacon not with the save of the game. An unbelievable play by the Lakers netminder and Peterborough will call a timeout. That smile says it all. Deacon not knows how huge that save was right off of Beach's timeout. And watch this dish down to the side of the crease. Perfect set play as Firth throws it down and then not stretches out. A highlight reel stop. And the play of the game, perhaps. The Lakers hang on to the lead. There is not a better play than that one so far. As Robert Hope looking to draw something up. Lakers hanging on to that one goal lead. After that goal with 39 seconds left by Tom Collins coming just 17 seconds ago. Lakers will have to start with it in their own zone. That's where the timeout was called. Toronto's going to keep Kidd on the bench. And they're going to try and force Pirro to make a mistake. Firth and Hickey up for the double team. Everybody else on a man right now. So Thompson will either have to split the defenders 
or somebody's going to have to get open for the ball. Deacon Knott's an option as well if he steps out of his crease. Great double team though by Toronto. They get the ball right back. They'll go to work on the offense, looking for the equalizer. 12 seconds left to go. Collison with the ball. This will wait all over him as Collison cuts down towards the middle. Ball gets knocked loose. And that'll do it as the final second ticks off the clock. The Peterborough Lakers win their second game in a row. Second game in two nights with a 10-9 win over the Toronto Beaches. Deacon not in the middle of that pile, all smiles. The star of this game coming up with a huge stop in the final 30 seconds to prevent the Beaches from scoring. Peter will move to two and five on the season. Toronto will move their record to three and four. Tom Collins leading the way on the offense for the Lakers with four goals, a pair by DJ Clark. But again, the story, the goaltender Deacon Knott making 50 saves on the night, including that game stopper. We'll take a look at that winning goal with 39 seconds left to go. It was Collins with his fourth goal of the game. An absolute dart from the outside through traffic to beat Kidd. And that sealed the deal for the Lakers. The winning goal as they defeat the Toronto Beaches 10 to 9. That'll do it for us here at the Peterborough Memorial Center. I'm Scott Arnold, and you've been watching the Ontario Junior Lacrosse League on the JVI Network.